here we have great 10 into 10 that means so here the grid has divided into equal 100 parts so there are 100 squares so by using this grid how to represent decimal number let's see this decimal activity integrated with art so the grid has colored with two different colors so you can see the two colors we have used it is like a pattern so now the two different colors how to represent in decimal so the total number of parts are 100 so here the red color parts so the red color squares are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8, 8, 8, 8. 8 fours are 32. 32 plus 4, 36. That means total number of parts 36. 36 how to represent in a decimal? So total parts are 100. So 36 we have to represent. 0 0.36 0 0.36 the whole thing has divided into 100 parts in that 100 36 squares are shaded in red next green color squares 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8 8 fours are 32 so green color part shaded part 32 so out of 100 32 parts are shaded so how to represent in a decimal in the whole part it has shaded 32 3 2 0 0.32 parts are shaded in color green We can draw any designs in the grid and we can represent the colors in decimal. So here the green and violet. So here the number of green colors are 30, 30 squares. So how to represent in decimal that whole part? Only 30 parts are in green. So 0 0.30. And that violet are 14, 0 0.14. Even in this you can do the operation, arithmetic operation addition. 0 plus 4, 4. 0 plus 8, 8. 0 plus 1, 4, 0. So 0.44 parts. 0.4 total number of parts shaded in the grid 44 so how to represent 0.44 let's see subtraction operation so write the decimal number for orange color and the brown color so here orange color decimal is 0.26 total number of parts colored in orange 26 so in decimal you have to write 0 0.26 and the brown color 0 0.18 so you can do the operation 0 subtraction 0 0.08 next operation multiplication represent two different colors in a decimal point so number of red squares are 46 so decimal 0 0.46 and number of green 10 0 0.10 so if you multiply 0 6 are 0 0 4 are 0 one six are six, one fours are four. If you add 
zero six four. So here, after you have to keep decimal point with the answer four six zero. So count after decimal one two three four. There are four numbers, so this two decimal point also you have to calculate decimal after one two. Three four. So in the answer, four numbers after you have to keep decimal. So already one two three. There are three numbers. Fourth number you can add zero before. So point zero. There is no whole number. So you have to write answer zero point zero four six is the answer. So here this zero doesn't have value. You can skip the zero. Answer is zero point zero four six. Let's do division operation in decimal. Write the decimal number for color yellow. So the whole thing is divided into hundred parts. In that hundred, so how many parts are colored in yellow? Zero point three four. Next, black. Zero point zero six. One two three four five six. So now do division. So here, first let's remove the decimal point. To remove the decimal point, we have to multiply by hundred. So here the decimal point. After decimal point, there are two number. So you have to multiply by hundred. Both the number we have to multiply by hundred. So if we multiply, we will get the whole number thirty four by six. Thirty four by six. So if you divide thirty four by six, we will get answer five point zero zero six five zero thirty four remainder. So four we can't divide by six, so we have to add decimal point here. Then add zero here. Six six is thirty six. Again four remainder, so we keep adding zero. So will be the six will be repeating same. So we can take the answer six five point six six. Five point six six is the answer. Represent the colored part in decimal. Blue, zero point five two. Pink, zero point one four. And green, zero point zero eight.